instead of her saying, yes, this happened because when a woman has a miscarriage, it's always good to put whatever comes out uh, in a uh, container to bring to the hospital so that the doctor can see what the cause of, uh, you know, the contratops was, what the cause of miscarriage. Maybe it'll give a clue about, you know, what was wrong with it. Was there something wrong with the fetus? Is there something wrong with my, you know, uh, my uterus? Is there, you know, so I was bringing it to the hospital, and uh, that's what George is talking about. Oh, no. Oh, no. She can't make his story true. She has to lie about him and his story and lie about her and her story. She blames it on a housekeeper. He wrote that when you once had a mis miscarriage, you showed him the fetus in the jar. Now, really, we the touched is, on it before, uh, but we Paolo didn't elaborate. Put it in the jar. What? Paolo, uh, it's not in the library. No, no I know. The library? George, uh, Paolo put it in the jar, and it, uh, I was shocked when she gave it to him to... But it, your memories dim a little bit, but ah. anyway, but he was You're very... shocked that he put it in the book? No, he asked permission. And I gave him permission if that's it's his book. You know, do facts and accuracy mean anything to anybody in this family? No. No, they don't. So George remembers wrong when he actually goes over this story with his mother and gets her permission to put it in the book. I mean, and he says he's, 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 he wanted to show how close he was to it. I haven't seen a relationship like this since Norman Bates and his mother. This is kind of creepy, i got to say. And now they're all lying about the stupid fetus in a jar story. So when he actually remembers the story and asks his mother if he could put it in the book, he remembers being scared by something Apparently, he associated it with his mother, who now goes on Larry King to say what he wrote in the book was inaccurate. 